Until recently, Itama was considered a bastion of extremism, even among settlers. Some here still reject any allegiance to the state. Witness this flag of the far-right Kah party banned in Israel. Yet, this isolated settlement of 300 families now welcomes visitors from all over the country. We're at the heart of the national consensus and we're here to stay. We call on everybody to visit us and on the families who want to live here to contact us. Our lands constitute the heart of the country, and as Itamar is perched on a ridge, it constitutes an obstacle to a continuous Palestinian state. In the heat of his re-election campaign, Benjamin Netanyahu promised to extend Israeli sovereignty to all settlements, including those like Itamar, which are territorially isolated. Extending is seen as an annexation in disguise. We're now half a million people living in Judea and Samaria, in over 200 communities, on lands which don't belong to Arabs and on which sovereignty must be applied. Fixtures of Israel's presence in the West Bank inherited from the Oslo Accords, this territory is divided into three areas, A, B and C. The lands concerned by potential unilateral annexation constitute Area C, in blue and beige on the map. And the full Israeli security and civilian control, Area C encompasses more than 200 settlements and their outposts, illegal by Israeli law access roads connecting them to the country, military bases and training fields, parks and natural reserves. All in all, Area C constitutes 60% of the West Bank. The remaining 40% are divided into areas A and B in shades of brown, matching variations of Palestinian self-government. This territorial division was supposed to last five years, after which Israelis and Palestinians would reach a final peace agreement. But 20 years after the deadline for the advent of a two-state solution, this temporary arrangement is permanent. So much so that Donald Trump declares that he prefers to leave it up to the parties to define by themselves which solution they support, two states or just one. Even though Trump is Israel's friend, he doesn't protect our national interests. Let the Palestinians keep what they have currently, an autonomous Palestinian authority. I don't like it, but it's a fact. We have our state, and that's a fact. Whenever there is any interest shown in the fate of the municipal domain of this Palestinian town, the mayor and his local council members take out their maps. This occupied hill is the Itzhar settlement in Area C, theirs, as well as what's between ours and theirs. Here's Asir al-Kibalia in Area B. Our lands straddle both areas, but we are not allowed to cultivate the land that's close to the land they took over. According to the official maps, 72% of the town municipal domain is in Area B, under Palestinian administrative control and Israeli security control. The remaining 28% is in Area C, and the full Israeli control. To build this settlement, the Israeli authorities expropriated 120 acres from our lands. Without our land, we're nothing. Between 100,000 and 180,000 Palestinians live in Area C. With Abu Kamal, we scout the invisible line dividing his land. Last month, he planted three acres of olive tree on this sliver of land he owns in Area B. He feels the land is slipping away under his feet. The day after the Israeli elections three weeks ago, the settlers built this fence there in Area B. They gradually take control of the slopes of the hill. We don't have the right to get close. It belongs to them. If Israel annexes Area C, I'm afraid I'll lose my land in Area B. We approach the fence to better appreciate the distance. Just over 200 yards separate the land of Itzar to those of Abu Kamal. Two jeeps arrive. It's the security head of the settlement and his military escort. What are you doing here? We're not doing anything wrong. I just wanted to show them my field. Here's the map. I don't understand this map. Everything's legal. Listen, the army's coming. Don't stay here. Itzhar has a reputation as being a hardcore settlement, the red zone within Area C. Hilltop youth, as they call themselves, observe us from afar, suspicious. They wave back at us. We leave Area B for Area C, a 10-minute drive to Itzhar. We've been invited to a doors-open day organized by the settlements. 
But the security head blocks us from getting in. You can't come to us. You've preferred to go to the Arabs. It's either us or them. The separation line between Area B and Area C, nobody has the right to transgress it. Here, might is right. The settlers' right to the land versus the Palestinians' right on the land. Thank <laughs> you.